Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Sue Ellis Seller, and I am the founder of the program Connect, which empowers people to connect with their higher selves and easily interpret the messages that are coming to them through spirit, through their higher selves, through loved ones who have passed on. So basically, this is my, you know, kind of way of giving back. Um, I feel it's really important to share this information so that as many people as possible are able to connect with the messages that they're being given. So today I wanted to look a little bit at the clear senses. So these are kind of what other people might term as ESP or extrasensory perception. And I really think that considering this extra is a little bit um, deceptive because I feel like all of us are born with these powers and these gifts. And the more we learn to work with them, the more we learn to identify how we experience these gifts and enables us, you know, kind of to interpret the information for ourselves. I've been lucky enough to be one of those people who has a lot of space and freedom to explore these topics for myself and this is what I've kind of made my living out of. So I am going to talk to you today. There's usually about eight different clear senses that people talk about and I think it's really really important that we learn to understand and accept the way that each of us kind of receives these messages. Um, a lot of times in movies or series on TV, you know, like Ghost, for example, all of a sudden Patrick Swayze is sitting next to Whoopi Goldberg, who is the medium, and he's sitting there talking to her like he's really actually there, or like Beetlejuice, they call the spirit in, and he, you know, comes in and he can manipulate things and everything. But a lot of times it's a lot more of a subtle feeling and or experience that you need to work on improving your you know understanding of or ability to kind of receive and interpret so for me personally a lot i have a few of the different clairs so when i'm working with reiki and a lot of times with um tarot card readings i am experience clear sentience where I actually feel in my body different issues that arise for a person. So for example, if something really, you know, set in somebody's gut, I can feel it just sitting in my gut. Or if somebody got their arm hurt or something like that, I'm actually able to feel where and how these people's pain is manifest in their bodies. Now I also have clear cognizance, which is just like this clear understanding. So this works a lot with reading tarot. And this is something that we'll go into in Connect. But it's basically like looking at the cards and seeing what's there. And then all of a sudden allowing for this big whoosh of information from whatever <laughs> to, you know, flow into my reading space or flow into my you know, cognizant so that I can use that information and int interpret the things for my clients. So um, just their situations and information that sometimes I shouldn't even know or be privy to will flow through me when I'm having a bout with their cognizance. There's also clairvoyance. Now, some of, this is kind of what I was talking about before, where you actually see things. Now, some people get hung up on like being able to see a whole being or, you know, an angel or a spirit or something else where you might only see a spark or a hint, or you might see the outline of a shape when you're working. And that's also clairvoyance. That's also being able to see. Now, some people can see things as if it was a movie playing before them and other people get these snippets or sparks. And the idea or what you need to do is to learn to understand how your messages come through to you 
and be able to interpret them from that perspective and not really worry about what anybody else can do with their gifts because it doesn't really pertain to you and your experience in interpreting things that come to you. So another one is, is clear audience. Now this is actually when, that was an interesting little thing that just blew through my room here. Um, clear audience is one of my big ones as well. So I might hear a message from a song that I hear on the radio when I'm thinking of something or when I'm interpreting something, or I'll hear a snippet of conversation that is exactly the information that I need to know or exactly pertains to what I was thinking about, what I was questioning, the answer that I was looking for. So that's clear audience. And then you have like that booming voice every once in a while that some of us get. Um, that's one that I've gotten before. It's like one day I was laying in bed and I hear this voice, like right here, this man's voice is like, Todes Unfall. And I was like, oh crap. In German, that means that somebody else and they get the taste of like spaghetti or some, their favorite um, thing. Or like if you're, you know, clear smell, the one uh, I'm trying to find the clear smell is clear salience. So clear blustance is taste and clear salience is smell. And so this is going to be something that comes up, especially if you're doing mediumship work or if you're doing something where you're connecting to a loved one that's passed on you might actually smell that person's perfume or cigarette smoke if they were a smoker, or you know, get a taste of like um, cinnamon rolls or the, you know, the, uh, the uh, stuffed peppers or whatever that they were famous for. You know, these are things that are going to come through to you. And once you get used to being open to receive messages in whatever way they come to you, it's going to be a lot easier for you to really identify these things as being messages from spirit as opposed to just your imagination playing with you. Um, and then there's also clear tangents, which is clear touch. So sometimes um, people talk about when they go to haunted houses and somebody brushes them or pushes them or these are going to be kind of, it's not made up. It's actually the way that their bodies and the way that their beings receive messages from the spirit world. And then there's also another one that is a lot of us, and I really feel like this one is one that runs through the human race and that we just have learned to push down and suppress, but clear empathy, clear empathy. So this is something where you actually can feel the emotions of another person as it's happening. And you know, this is something where you, you look at two friends and they're laughing or lovers hugging or whatever, and, and you actually feel that joy or that happiness, or if, you know, somebody falls over and they get scared or the mom is running up there and you feel that fear and anxiety in you that's something that's a clear experience. So it's really important. This is something that I'm going to kind of harp on and continue telling people is really when you are opening yourself up to connecting with the energy that's around you, with your higher wisdom, with spirit, with other people, be open to receiving the messages in the way that you uniquely receive them. And this stuff is just like working out, working out different muscles. The more you work with it, the more you learn to trust it, the better you'll become at it. So at first it might be really subtle and it might be soft and you might question your ability to connect, but just keep going with it. Take notes, write things in a journal, and see if you can match up your clear feelings or your clear, the information you receive through these clear senses. See if you can match them up to things that happen within you, around you, to other people in your area or in your life. And see, keep track of, you know, hits that you get because these things are really actually very interesting to explore and 
like I said, the more you work with them, the better you'll get at it and the better you'll get at deciphering what's just like kind of, that's just a random hit and like spirit smacking you and saying, here's your message. I need you to know this right now. So if you have any questions about the Claire senses, or if you have any questions about joining the connect membership program, that's going to be going through, it's a 12 month program. It's going through everything from learning to understand your intuition and how these messages come through to you to learning tarot, symbolism, colors, angels, chakras, <laughs> elements, elementals. So candles, crystals, oils, everything you want all in one program. And I'm really so excited to bring this all to you. So the link to sign up for Connect will be in the comments below or in the information below. And if you like this video, please like it. Please share it with anybody who might find it interesting or might get some advice or guidance about what they're experiencing and how these things work for them. So again, my name is Sue Ellis Soller and thank you very much for your time. I hope this video helped you out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.